What is going on outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back and today we are going to be taking a look at some of the cut content from Red Dead Redemption. This is one of the greatest games of all time and it truly looks like Rockstar Games had many more plans with characters, mounts, and features that ultimately ended up being scrapped. As we go through this cut content, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below what you think should have not been cut from the final version. Nonetheless, we are going to start off with the fact that John Marston and Abigail Marston were planned to be much younger. This was ultimately scrapped probably to fit the narrative narrative as in the final version John Marston was born in 1873 being around 38 years of age and also Abigail Marston was probably born around 1877 being 34 years of age by the events of Red Dead Redemption and their son Jack was born in 1895. So in the final game Abigail gave birth to Jack at 18 years of age and if Rockstar chose to make these characters any younger it would certainly mean that there would have been some significant changes to Red Dead Redemption's history and lore. I highly doubt that it was ever planned to make Abigail a mom at any age younger than 18, I think? But it could have led to seeing a much younger version of Jack Marston than the one that we saw in 1911. Either way, it was most likely a wise choice to make John and Abigail older. Next we have is that the McFarlanes were originally the McFarlanes, which honestly doesn't really bother me at all, but I don't know. Bonnie and Drew McFarlane sounds a lot better to me than Bonnie and Drew McFarlane. Maybe that's just me. But to animals now, originally bats were supposed to be hunted and skinned, which I think would have been great as I think every animal should have been huntable. Huntable, I think that's a word. And it would have been interesting seeing the value of a bat. There also appears to be one unused mount in Red Dead Redemption and it's called the Dead Horse, being described as missing its lower jaw, having claw marks all over its body, and is missing half of its front left leg. The horse appears in the mission Spare the Love, Spoil the Child. However, it obviously can't be used as it's already dead. When modded into the game, the Dead Horse boasts unlimited stamina and a surprising amount of health. Interestingly, shooting the missing part of the horse's front left leg makes it bleed. Another big removal was the Sasquatch, which was actually in the base game of Red Dead Redemption, but was probably removed to be showcased with all the other mythical creatures in Undead Nightmare. Kind of disappointing, honestly, because I remember years ago seeing all the myth videos about seeing creatures in Grand Theft Auto 4 in San Andreas. If Rockstar had included the Sasquatch into the forest of tall trees like they did Undead Nightmare, I really think it would have been a great Easter egg. Either way, at least we did get it in Undead Nightmare and a whole lot more. But now to one very cool side mission that was supposed to be in the game with a non-playable character named Nora Hopkins whom is found stranded in the Great Plains and calls us over for help. It turns out that she has lost her dog and we must help her find it. The dog can be found in the caves and tall trees. We then return the dog to her and receive 50 rounds of revolver ammo and the double action revolver. Weirdly enough, this isn't necessarily cut content as Nora often spawns already dead into the game. So this side quest never activates unless modded in by a save file. So I do find it very weird that Rockstar never chose to fix this and put Nora into the game. I don't know what the reasoning is behind that, but I think it would have been a cool little stranger mission. But there also appears to be a few more removed stranger missions, which is highlighted by YouTuber ZT. The first is described as John has to retrieve four relics from Mother Superior. One is from a hermit somewhere in New Austin, another in a shop at the Pacific Union Railroad Camp, although there is no general store or any such shop at the final game, so we can assume that was removed, another from a criminal in Tumbleweed, and the last from a man wanted by bounty hunters. It's suggested by many that this was probably cut from the main game to properly introduce Mother Superior superior and undead nightmare, which makes a lot of sense. Either way, here's a small clip from that dialogue. I knew you were sent by Providence. Well, I brought you back something that people could actually steal from you. Despite your complete lack of confidence in me, I was able to bring back your stolen relics, Mother. Hi, gringo. I must admit, I never really thought I would see you back here again, much less with the things I asked for. You didn't so much ask, so much as compel. Well, maybe I did. Thank you, gringo. And you go with my blessing. Now to the second removed stranger mission we have is a weird one, as John comes upon a little man and has to find him a friend in which he does being a giant. John ends up having to battle the giant to convince him to meet the little man as the giant doesn't want any visitors. John ends up winning this battle and eventually he comes back to the little man and giant and finds out the giant has killed a woman, leading to John having a decision to make, which is kill the giant or not. Like I said before, this is a very strange mission, but either way here is some dialogue from that mission. Just like all of them. Just like, why don't you shoot me, you scar faced bastard? What, what's, what's your problem, friend? How can you ask me a question like that? Look at me. Just look at me. Even the whores turn me down laughing, and you're asking me such a question. I've seen people have it worse. I ain't. 
So you're the worst creature in all of creation? Must be nice to be so special. Damn you. Damn all of them. Calm down with your damn nations, friend. I ain't got no friends. All right, then. I'll find you one. Anyway, gang, if you are interested in hearing the full dialogue of these removed missions, there will be a link in the description below to both. A quick rundown of some of the other removed or unavailable content in-game is that the elegant suit originally lacked a hat. The US Marshal uniform was originally a sheriff uniform, as it was shown in early screenshots that the badge was shaped like a sheriff's. The weapon wheel is actually not present, only the weapon icon next to the heads-up display, and upon receiving a bounty, the black paint splash was not behind the reward. Also, it would mention what the player was charged with. Next up we have is that there was quite a few unused bounty targets, as can be seen within the posters, which don't show any names but only unknown outlaws. We also have some screenshots from an early playable version of Red Dead Redemption which showcases a different heads up display and some other interesting models of guns, vehicles, and items within the world. Lastly we also have the original logo designs for Red Dead Redemption, including the initial logo treatment which helped shape the storyline. Anyway gang, this is just some of the cut content, it really seems that Rockstar wanted to do so much more as can be seen with the detail outside of the map, which may hint to original plans of having a bigger open world, and some of the models of vehicles which almost feel like a tease that Rockstar wanted to give us more ways to traverse the world. Either way, Red Dead Redemption is one of the greatest games ever made, and this cut content could have made it better, or maybe even worse. But thank you for joining me, and make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and let me know down in the comment section below what piece of cut content do you think should have been kept into the final version of the game. Also, consider subscribing to stay up to date on all the upcoming games by Rockstar, and remember, Outlaws to the end.